In this video lesson, I'm going to show you how you can add a folder over here to the block. So at the moment, we've been adding files uh, individually in a list. But um, if we want, we can also add a folder which has many files embedded within it. An example of where we'd want to do something like this could be, say for example, Say for example, I have all of these images, there are 36 of them, and I want to share these with my students. Now if I go and um, just drop all of these over here, under lecture materials, I'll have 36 different items. And you know, that becomes um, pretty bulky, it's not too nice to navigate. And um, just to have more uh, structure and order, what I would prefer would be is to just have one line over here with a folder and all of these images embedded within that. So if uh, you, if my student wants to see any of these images, he just clicks on that folder and then can access these files. So to go about doing that, again, we go back to our add activity or resource. And I'm sure you must have noticed this folder option over there. And then we click on add. But once we do that, you'll see that we need to fill in the name of the folder. So I'm just going to call these, uh, call the folder um, images. And again, just uh, give the description uh, images as well. And now over here, we add, we add all the files that we want placed inside the folder. So we go back to our window, select all the images and just drag it over and put it in this box. Now that the now that the images have been uploaded, we can see uh, we can see all of them over here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on save and return to course. Now what we see right at the bottom of the block is this folder called images. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that over here under lecture material and align that up. And now if either I or my students click on this images icon. I'm going to see that now we have all the images over here. So it makes it so it makes the block much easier to look at over here. And it just allows us to structure our documents into folders um, if, if we need to. I just want to go ahead and review what we've done so far. Forget about the activities for now. In terms of the resources, we first look at how to upload a file. Now we've looked at how to upload multiple files and have them grouped together in a folder. We've seen uh, how to use labels or uh, in other words, how to write text inside a block. We can use that for headings as we've used it here, or we can just use that as text. And we've seen how to have URLs like this logarithms video over here to link to an external web website that, that we think could be helpful, like say a YouTube video. The only one that's remaining is the is the pages option that we'll have a look at later. Thank you.